Welcome to GCK King's Circle with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. Hello friends, are you aware that you created for greatness and that you're acceptable in the sight of God? You welcome to the GCK King's Circle, a place where young minds are raised from zero level to the hero level. My name is Shalom Philip, and I am your host for today's show. And with me here is your co-host, Gabriel Eric. Some people go through life rejecting themselves. They feel they are not created for greatness. In today's episode of the GCK King Circle, Dr. Kumui, a man who is regarded as one of the 500 most influential people on earth by the influential U.S. magazine policy, will enlighten us on how we can discover the greatness that lies within us. But before he comes up, let's have a session of so edifying music. Having listened to that soul edifying music, we need to know that God has created man uprightly, but man's inventions keep corrupting minds. To throw more lights on this, let us listen to Dr. Kumi. You know, there are people that are not aware of who they are. They are not aware of what they possess. Look at that little child. The little child is not aware of her brain, of his brain. Doesn't know he has a brain. The little child, until she looks at a mirror, is not aware of her eyes, of her facial appearance. The little child does not is not aware of the backbone that makes you to stand and stand erect. There are many things we have that we're not aware of. That's why if you're going to get to the top, if you're going to get to the summit, where you start is awareness. The awareness of what you have. The awareness of your personal potential. Look at Genesis chapter 1, verse 31, and God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. Many people are not aware of that. They do not understand. God made me. God created me and God put me in place and he knows the best place for me to be at any time and the best place I should have been born and the parents that should have given birth to me he calculated everything he envisioned everything he looked ahead as to what I will be and where I will do the great thing that I ought to do and he put me there and God saw and remember God is ever the same yesterday and today and forever it's a God who plans big, a God who plans well, a God who plans appropriately. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And he had made you. I said God made you, and you are good coming out of the hand of God as the product of God's making. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, I'm reading from verse 29. It says here, it says, Lo, it says, Behold, it says, Wow, look at this. This only have I found that God 
has made man upright god has made man all right god has made man very well but they have sought out many inventions the things that god did not intend they sought out many inventions and then we come to god we say there's a lot of rubbish a lot of dust over the good thing that you made and lord i'm sorry that i allowed the dust to gather in my brain dust to gather in my character doors to gather in my personality forgive me lord for such carelessness and cleanse me and wash up and wipe up all the doors that had gathered on me wash me and wash me clean and that's what god does he sweeps everything away he washes you and cleanses you and you are converted and now you come brand new in the hands of the lord that's why it says if any man be in christ he is a new creature old things all the rubbish that came in all the dust that gathered upon your mind upon your heart upon your spirit upon your soul all the dust that gathered upon your personality and it is it defaced you all that is gone if any man be in christ he is a new creature old things are passed away and behold all things are become new self-awareness you are aware i have inside me a functional brain i have inside me a functional mind i have inside me the thing that god has put there for me to achieve and for me to get to the summit the achievers are still there i'm glad to see you and to know you and i'm glad i see in the spirit achievement written upon your forehead if that's the person I'm talking about where you can you raise up your hand father in the name of Jesus we thank you the past is gone the past is forgiven the past is forgotten the past is buried and the past will not follow us to the present and to the future in Jesus name all the things that children have been done that were done i pray you forgive all your children in jesus name and the potential personal potential that the doors have set church on that the dirt have set church on i pray lord your place up all the dirt and all the doors and you bring up that person of the potential in everyone in jesus name and lord the goal you set before us something better something higher something greater something more magnificent and something purposeful and that peak you set before us i pray that everyone without exception will come to that future purposeful vision and projection in jesus name lord right now put a mark of achievement on anyone on everyone in Jesus name we pray wow it's reassuring to know that no matter how corrupt the minds have become the blood of Jesus Christ is capable of purging away all of man's negative inventions thank you for joining us in today's episode be a world changer for Christ we believe that you've been impacted. Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui will love to hear from you. Please visit our social media platforms and don't forget to join us on the next episode of GCK King's Circle.